Welcome to ArcGIS Introduction. Right now, let's open the software and I'll tell you a little bit about what we're doing. I've gone to the start icon and I'm going to uh, click on Arc Map. While that's loading, let, just let me explain what our purpose today is. Uh, many of you may not be familiar with ArcGIS. In other courses, I talk about quantum GIS as a problem or as a, an opportunity for an open source GIS site, but the industry standard is the ESRI product. Um, let's just uh, go to ESRI's website so you know kind of who they are. Um, ESRI, or uh, Environmental Systems Research Institute, is one of the top developers in the GIS industry and you'll see here that they make the case that they uh, are, are cross-disciplinary um, and make uh, many different uh, products that meet many different disciplines from environmental to land use planning um, to business analytics. Um, <clears throat> here's some of their products and the big product they make is ArcGIS but under that there are a number of different tiered uh, products including online products, desktop products um, as well as different components of that uh, that software um, and I would say that uh, even more and more they were pushing things off into uh, the cloud into uh, virtual uh, servers. We're going to focus on introduction to the desktop software here and as I showed you to start off with uh, I have opened it up already under the start icon. Um, the idea here again is to familiarize you um, with uh, the product uh, and I'll uh, let me just keep this a little more minimized uh, just to uh, make sure that you can catch everything uh, right here in the center of the screen and we'll minimize this so we had a nice blue background. Uh, underneath it. Uh, okay, so uh, you see here we have a basic uh, Windows layout here and this again is a disadvantage of this is it uh, uh, operates in Windows and you see here I can I can do a lot of customization. Uh, let's talk about this whole window to start off with. Um, you have here your basic taskbar, um, various commands under here. We'll get to that. Uh, obviously help is very important as is the idea of Windows. Um, and I find the idea of Windows to be particularly important because you can turn on and off each of these and I always used to get confused as to where uh, that that little piece of my uh, my data went and that is really important because that is what's called your table of contents and in the idea that you have multiple layers of information one on top of the other uh, that idea is uh, is really important with GIS and uh, the idea that you know both the order and the contents comes here in the table of contents. You can have different, um, and you can display it in different ways. You see here, um, you have different ways of displaying both the um, order in the drawing or whether or not you know, the source, um, etc. So, and you can have m uh, multiple different windows there. This is your viewfinder window, and this is where your data displays. So the layers, and then the displays over here. And you'll see down here that you have two different views. You have your, your data view and your layout view, as well as here is your refresh key. Um, that is good for uh, refreshing the data if it's having trouble loading. The layout view is just uh, a piece of paper, and it shows you in this little box right here what is on your viewfinder. We'll come back to that. Um, you can add data and layers just the, they're the same as you would other places. Um, uh, two other pieces that are an important part, and we're running ArcGIS uh, 10.2 here, um, is the idea of a catalog, which shows us where our data is, and uh, the search key. Now, we, in, in you know, as being people who use GIS, uh, I'm a GIS dinosaur, so I've used GIS for a long time. We used to look for our tools and the way we do things with this little toolbox thing, and this is called our toolbox. Um, and it, see, it's got these little red toolboxes, and I like this because everything was in its place. Um, um, although you could never remember where things once, like I used the buffer command, but I could never actually remember whether or not it was under analysis or under data management or in that 3D analyst, but it's right here under proximity and analysis, but I always struggle with that. Um, well, S3 came up with a solution. Uh, you can now search for it. So if I uh, click here buffer, um, you'll see that it gives me um, the exact same tool. And so it definitely is a little more uh, quick framework. Um, we can pen this out if we want to with this little pen command. Um, I like to keep them here with just kind of quick access. Um, so anyway, let's uh, let's talk about these uh, these tools here. 
And a good part is you can actually um, add and subtract different toolbars. For example, um, if you're going to be doing a lot of editing, you might add the editor toolbar. And that's good to keep in mind um, if you're going to mess around with GIS a lot. Um, you also, if you're going to mess around with GIS a lot, you may want to go in and uh, activate some extensions. Spatial Analyst and 3D Analyst are uh, uh, some that I use a lot. Uh, they used to cost additional, so you may not come with a default license. It's a disadvantage of ArcGIS is a for-profit, so uh, many times uh, you're not going to get everything with the package. Uh, Geoprocessing tools super super useful. Um, allow you to edit features. Um, selection also allows you to select different features. Um, uh, and then the idea of inserting uh, data and uh, uh, a new data frame. This is called a data frame. Let's actually go to the, probably our most important tool, which is add data. And I'm going to add some data that I already had queued up in a, a file called uh, New York City Geo Database. <clears throat> I'm going to add uh, both all both my my boroughs layer and. Uh, I've got a big streets layer here that I'll add to. So you'll see the idea of a layer. Um, and so let's go to Metro Roads here. Okay, so we see all all the roads um, in uh, New York City and uh, all the boroughs. Now, um, we have a, no a number of different commands here. Obviously, our saving printing commands. We just added data. Um, this is our editor toolbar. We're gonna we're gonna actually turn that off just for simplicity for right now, um, and get that out of the way. Uh, and these are all of our toolboxes we just went over. Now, these are our navigation commands. You see here we can pan around with the hand, we can zoom in, zoom out, and then we can go to our full extent by clicking the world. I'm gonna try to zoom in. And I'm gonna do a little. So I've taken the zoom command and I'm going to do a square here. I'm going to zoom in on the lower east side of Manhattan. And I can actually add the lower east side. I believe I have a, um, um, well, actually, let's see what's in our layer. Um, so I'm going to zoom in on the lower east side. Let's pan a little bit so we get the full window. Um, now you see here, I can go actually go back and, and uh, go back to previous. How about we do, uh, we stay right there. Um, so that's these little arrow commands. Um, now we can select features um, by clicking on this little arrow. So, for example, if I click on this green space, you'll see that that's my um, my different boroughs. So I've selected one borough. Um, here's uh, another borough. Uh, my other, another borough here, uh, Brooklyn. I believe that's Brooklyn. Uh, sorry, I'm wrong for those of you that live in Brooklyn. And we can measure them. So, for example, we can measure. Across the side, it looks like we are 11,000 feet, but we can change that um, uh, to uh, kilometers or miles. Let's go to miles since we're um, we're in the U.S. right now. Um, uh, let's see if we can do this. It should be uh, feet, distance, miles. So here we go. Two miles across. Um, great feature of ArcGIS. Um, we also have the identify feature. We can click on each of these and you'll see uh, that we have Queens, um, that we have Brooklyn, that we have Manhattan. And you can see here we have the islands uh, in there that um, count to. One more thing in this brief little intro that I would just want to show off is, is uh, the idea of uh, changing the symbology. I've double clicked on, on this uh, Burroughs. Um, and you see here, I give a number of different options. I can actually change the name, New York City Boroughs, and I can say Apply or OK. I'm going to say OK in this time, because you can also take a different approach. You can right click. And by right clicking on that data, you get a lot of options. You can join that data to other things. Um, you can uh, export it. Um, but you can also go here to Properties, and you get the same thing. Um, you see here, here's our data source. I've just got it saved to the desktop. But what I'm trying to get to here is the idea of display. And display is your most uh, powerful tool in terms of map making here in ArcGIS um, because you can actually change the display to match uh, certain characteristics that are in that field. And let's just cancel out of that because I want to show you that that geographic data in what's called a shape file, uh, when we click on, right click on that file and we click Open Attribute Table, is matched by tabular data um, that is information about that. So in this case, um, information about this geographic feature includes the name, the shape length, 
um, the uh, both latitude and longitude and the area. Um, very important because it enriches what we can display. So if we go back here and either right click or double click, we can get to our symbology and we can change the symbology. And for example, I can do categories based on borough name. And if I click add all values here, I'll get, and I can change my color ramp. I just don't particularly care for that color. Let's do a muted brown. Um, that might not show up, so let's do a muted um, kind of um, orange brown, and we'll say apply. And you'll see here we get unique colors for each of our burrows. If we were to go over to our map, um, you see here, and I'm going to actually clear our selection because this little line right here around here shows that we are selecting that. And right here, I'm going to just start doing a quick little layout. Um, I'm going to insert a title. Uh, New York boroughs. I'm going to move that over here. I'm going to insert a north arrow. Got a lot of different ones. Let's just, just keep it simple. We'll do a big one right here. I'm going to insert a scale bar. Now we all know if you've taken geography uh, in classes, um, a map isn't a map without a north arrow and an air and scale bar. So very important things. I always say, um, um, always add your name too. So uh, here's mine, William Riggs, uh, PhD, and I'll put this. I'll put my name uh, right down here. And finally, uh, let's add our legend, and we'll just add it right below the burrows. And I'm going to take. You see here, we can add what shows up in the legends. I'm only going to put the burrows in. Um, and then I click Next. Um, we're just going to choose the most uh, standard um, title, no border, uh, no background, um, and just click Finish. And uh, we could edit this more if we wanted. Um, in our case, because I don't necessarily um, like this, we're going to uh, actually don't really like that. So. Um, uh, but we could edit it and actually take out the, um, the layer title here um, if we so choose. And we could actually edit that over here, um, that name. Um, one last thing, let's just change the color of these roads. They're, they're annoying me. I'm going to make them black and say OK. Um, and there we have it, a really quick and dirty map of the boroughs um, by William Riggs. Uh, and that's a basic introduction to GIS. If you're interested in quantum GIS, I have another uh, little introduction to that um, that parallels this. But just want to get people familiar with how to use this as a tool, how to navigate, and, and what's available to you. Uh, hope this works for you. Uh, uh, God bless, Godspeed, and I look forward to seeing you back either in my classes at Cal Poly or uh, maybe online somewhere. Uh, take care. Talk soon.